All right, welcome back everyone. Here is another Art Steps virtual exhibition tutorial. Um, we have two steps left to plan a guided tour and then to publish. So we'll see if we can squeeze that all into one uh, tutorial. Um, okay, so you're going to click on step number four, plan a guided tour. Uh, you're going to then go ahead and click on add a guide point. Now, before we actually place the guide point, do you need a guided tour? If you don't need a guided tour, then you can just go ahead and skip to part five. Um, a guided tour is so that you can go ahead and have people uh, just automatically navigate to certain pieces. Um, you could have a uh, guide point for every single piece in your gallery, but you might want to think about that. If you only have three pieces in your gallery, you might not want to do that. Um, it's, they're really meant for um, taking people to different sections of the gallery or a different room. Um, but it's an automatic way um, of getting people around, so uh, it is nice. So here's how you do it. You click on Add a Guide Point, and you give the title. Um, so for instance, we could go ahead and call this one um, Photography. And then, of course, you can give a description. And I'll just put in some text here. And there we go. And we're going to leave all the default settings here, visible, um, guide point here. Now, uh, this is for audio. This is an interesting one here. So what you could do is you could record your voice. And when they press on the guide point, it could actually walk them through, kind of like in a museum where they might give you those uh, headphones and you can listen to uh, somebody narrating about the pieces that they're seeing. Um, so it's more work, but it's a nice touch if, uh, if you can do it. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And now you actually choose where the camera goes. And this is really cool. So as I move the camera around, you'll see the camera angle up there so you can see what the people are going to see. So for instance, if I want them to go look at these first two pieces over here, I would go ahead and place the guide point here. And then, let me get over there, then what I would do is I would say rotate and I would go ahead and click on the little rotation rings and I would rotate the camera around so it's really looking at those first two pieces. Um, then I go ahead and move it a little bit just so it's really squarely looking at those two pieces here. So that's my first guide point. Okay, I'll add a second guide point. And again, some fake text. And on this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one. I'm going to put this one way over here just to see this one piece over here. So I'm going to place it right about here. Again, rotate it. And there we go. Again, I am using a mouse, right click and left click. So right click to pan, left click to orbit and change your, your angle there. Okay, so something like that. All right, now if you can see in this example, the top of the picture is actually going out of frame just a little bit. That would be maybe a good reason to go back here to step three, uh, place your artifacts, click on the piece itself and uh, possibly lower it a little bit. So that would be kind of your indicator there. So there we go, something like that. Okay, so I have two uh, guide points here. So now if you actually wanna test those out, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit save, and then we'll do view, and see what this looks like. Okay. Um, so it's not showing me the guide points here. I guess to view the guide points, we're actually going to have to um, we're going to actually have to go ahead and uh, publish. Yeah, because these are the these are the published settings over here. Um, hmm. Let me go back, figure this out. Yeah. So it looks like uh, you can't really view the guide points until you actually publish it. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, you'll see that I can see the movement path here though, um, and so I'm going to go from these first two over here 
to um, the second one over here. If I did want to put in a third one, let's say I wanted to go over here and see these, I could put in um, a third one. We'll just call this a GP3. And hit save, and I could go ahead and put them over here. Um, so you can see the path now. Um, if you decide that the motion here would be really awkward, um, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to just take number two and set up number two over here and then set up number three over here. So that's what I would do because right now this is kind of set up like a roller coaster. So um, to get to delete a guide point, really simple. Come over here on the left, click on edit, and then just hit delete and say yes. And there we go. Uh, it should. I'm not sure why it's uh, why it's doing that, but it does not exist. So that's strange. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to go to step five, publish your exhibition. So you just need to fill out these three things over here, the cover. So I'm going to go ahead and click on um, capture and it's basically going to go ahead and take a screenshot of wherever I'm standing. If you would rather get to a different angle and you really want to, you know, maybe we look over here and you rotate around and you can kind of set it up. So maybe you want to do something like this. Remember to navigate like a video game. You can use W, A, S and D to move forwards, backwards, etc. You can also use the arrow keys. Left click and drag to, to look around. OK, so let's say I wanted that angle capture. And it should update here. There we are. OK, um, so now we just need public information. This is actually the step where you can name your your exhibition. So click on edit. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this title here. You can then put in a description. Um, and you can also give it some tags for categories. So that's kind of cool. So I can say digital art, photography, and you can go ahead and give it that. Um, actually, these are categories. They're not tags. These are the tags down here. Um, this is audio that would play throughout the entire exhibition. So this is kind of cool if you want to have uh, some background music, some, some cool jazz or instrumental or something like that. You, would, you want to be really mindful about what music you play. Um, again, you can upload a file. Um, it needs to all be non-copywritten uh, music, of course, um, or you could load up a file from a web URL. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and let's take a look at it. And hopefully we can then see um, what this looks like. Um, now there is a publish settings. You can say show in art steps. That just means that it's going to be public and that the rest of the art steps community will be able to see it. So uh, just be mindful of that. All right. So if I go back here to my profile, you can now see it is called demo exhibition. That's the title. Um, I can go ahead and click right up here on the thumbnail. And this is how it would be viewed by um, any audience member. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up and you'll see that it comes in right at the start. Um, and these controls right down here, these are the guide points here. So this is pretty cool. Um, I can go back a guide point. I can go forward a guide point. I can actually click and see um, two different guide points. So I can actually go ahead and choose them or I can just press play. And if I go to play, you'll see it will just bring me to the first one, which is called photography. And the cool thing is, is that it'll then pop up on the screen and it'll give you the text description. And um, there's a timer there you can see and music could be playing. And there's the second one and there's my text. So it really is kind of a cool system. But again, I think it's kind of made for uh, when you have more pieces in a show um, or you want to take them to general sections. OK. Um, and again, you can click on these and you can just go to certain ones and it'll kind of spin you around and make you a little sick and you can check it out. Um, OK, so how do you now share this gallery with other people? This is the final step. Well, you want to be in view mode like like I am right here and you simply come up here and click on the address, copy it and paste it. You can paste it to an email, social media. Um, you know, whatever your your Schoology, anything like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial series helped you out. Um, 
let's see, one last thing that you can uh, do are these little settings up here. This can, this can help some people before we go. The little I means information, and this does have a nice little tutorial and shows people how to navigate around. So it is a nice thing to direct people to, so that way they just you know don't get lost. Um, the second one will go full screen, and of course, once it loads, that's really nice. You don't see all the rest of the, the junk there. Um, then you have a little gearbox where you can choose the graphics settings. Um, again, depending on your device and depending on your Wi-Fi connection, etc., you might want to change that. Uh, normal is uh, is usually good. And then, of course, you have a little mute button uh, for the audio playing around if you want to control that. Um, okay, I hope this tutorial series helps you out. I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone.